Love is blind. Love is blind, but we're annoyed. We are back. Welcome. We ha- oh, oh, sorry. I thought we were going to, like... United Kingdom. We're so back. Oh, yeah. We had the best reveal in Love is Blind history last episode. Everyone else is kind of, like, uh, slowly getting there, I guess. I don't know. We're going to be putting these out as, as fast as possible. So... Thank you for staying patient. Aaron had to go on a trip to Canada. Everyone shame him. Shame him for going on vacation. Okay. Yeah, thanks for the love. Subscribe. The Dancing Roach is back once again. As you guys know, we can't show footage from the show in the first minute or we'll get copyrighted. So skip to the timestamp on screen right now if you just want to skip straight to the video. In the meantime, I will reveal right now that the next merch drop is Dancing Roach related. You guys will see the design real soon. Hopefully, I just need to get the shirts sent to me and I need to wear them to make sure they're good quality. Thank you for the continued support. Enjoy the video. And uh, yeah, let's let's continue our Love is Blind journey. I just kind of held my breath and just said, just tell me, you know. Mm -hmm. And then she said, Danny and Kim are dead. Wait, did someone die again? Why is there so much death on this season? I I think it really made me realize, you know, life is way too short to... Mm -hmm. To not go on dating shows. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) To not find a wife within a month. (laughs) It'd be nice to have a bit of a cuddle now. <laughs> Producers, laughing gas in the pods. <laughs> oh, that's actually a smart idea. We drug the contestants. Yeah, that would be moral. There's nothing wrong with laughing. Mm. Um, stop it. Okay. <laughs> no, don't stop it. <laughs> you love it. Whoa, were we having pod sex again? We just kind what do we call it, sod? We never came to an agreement. <laughs> we, we, we didn't? No. Shame on us. It's hard coming up with pod sex name. Guys, I will pin the best comment that comes up with pod sex. A word for pod sex. We've given up making our own jokes and we're forcing our comments to do it for us. So, I will cut it off with Sam. Oh, thank God. Sam's the weirdo. Mm-hmm. But he's going to end up with... I don't know her name. Yeah, her. Safe with, but I just feel my connection stronger elsewhere. Yeah, totally understand it, respect it. Yeah, bro's gonna take this really well. I, this dude's gonna throw a sore loser fit. Like, I, I genuinely, genuinely respect you and value you as a person. Yeah, you too. <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah, you is. too. Cool. Oh, is this when he throws the drink? Yeah, yes! <laughs> the cup runneth over the love is blind carpet. Shakespeare? Is that you? Yeah, it's me, I'm back. Oh, come here, bro. You good? No. He's gone. That's the worst experience of my life. That was the worst experience of your life? He's the only one that doesn't have drama on this show. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and did things with son. Oh, how are you feeling? I feel bad for him. Who's she? I'm an idiot. Not an idiot. I'm an idiot because he's totally throwing a fit for the camera. <laughs> this is—he really doesn't care at all. Well, I mean, think about all the women at home who are now like, "Oh my God, he got broken up with." Unfortunately, it's the end of the road between me and Jasmine. But on the other hand, it's given me some clarity to understand Nicole is the one for me. That, why do people do that on these dating shows all the time? <laughs> Since I got rejected, that means the other one must be the perfect match. Imagine spending a birthday in the Love is Blind pods, dude. Oh my god. I guess when you're 33, you won't care, right? All right, all right. let me gather myself. Let me gather myself. I want to say, but genuinely, as of right now, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. What? <laughs> Dude, oh! anywhere else? Bro could have gone to Atlantis. If they both have feelings for me, so I'm not trying to let it drag any more than I need to. That was a lot of effort that went into that. A lot of effort going into that? Is it what? a birthday card? <laughs> <laughs> this is a stick figure with some words. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but I need to please myself. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Happy birthday, but I need to masturbate. Yeah. <laughs> have you got a balloon? I've got about 50 balloons. Have you got cake? I've got cake and I- Do you want these balloons? You want this cake? Oh, a- <laughs> Damn, it works both ways. This is detailed. Enjoying your birthday. And even though I'm not there physically, like, your birthday feels like my birthday today. <laughs> what if he gets pissed off for that? He's like, no, it's my birthday. It's my fucking day. It's You're- not yours. That told me everything I needed to know. What it, it told me everything I, I knew I already knew, if that made sense. And that, and that is, it's my birthday. It's my birthday today. <laughs> no, I think I'm actually falling in love. Oh my god, darling. Oh, uh, Cassandra's worried. Cassandra? Oh, Cassandra. I love Demi. So, 
I'm going to step away from the situation because I want her to work with Ollie. Well, that's a change up from when she first dated. Remember, she's like, I'm going to fight for myself. I know you have a connection with someone else. I know who that someone else is. And I don't know. I don't like getting in the way. And I just want you to be happy. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> My birthday present to you is our breakup. Now that we have broken up, you can explore other options. Happy birthday. All right, mate, you're just the most wonderful woman I've ever met in my life. You're so nice, you're so sweet, you're so lovely. Like, even in this moment, you're just so you. I'm gonna let you go. Okay. Because if you love something... Let it go! Let it go! I got something that I'm prepared for you. So, here we go. What, what, what is this? Her top is really nice, but then she's just wearing sweats. I mean, what do you think we do on these recordings? <laughs> I'm feeling high of a life. And a roll of the dice. Put us here to the pods to me finding a wife. Oh, he's Whoa. rapping it. See, lately you've been growing kind of close to me. But you gotta eat the booty like grocery. That fit does not work. I'm sorry. I wanna tell you how special you are to me. I don't buy it. They don't seem as into each other as the other couple. You'll marry me. That wasn't even, he didn't ask her that. He just said, you'll marry me. Hey. Love you, bye bye. Bye, love you too. <laughs> what if they got caught up right there because they said love you? And she's like, uh, uh, I like you. <laughs> bye bye, just fucking proposed to you. Aww. It's my very, very lucky bracelet. Aww. Honestly, thank you so much. I'm gonna sell it. What is he wearing? Why does he have that around his neck? Yeah, what is that? It's just a bandana. Never in my life met a guy who just wears his heart on his sleeve. That wears his bandana on his neck. Man, I'm just gonna hug you and squeeze. I'm gonna pick you up. <laughs> well, I think, no, I'm joking. <laughs> you will be able to. <laughs> huh? Oh. Oh, is he gonna actually freak out about that now? That was amazing. Fucking great. Everything you wanted it to be. Yeah, she just said one weird thing though. Yeah. Yep, he's thrown off by it. Like, was she implying something? Like, she could, no, she's probably sprained I her ankle she's... or something. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole does have another connection with Sam, and I have to protect her. Oh, is... yeah, because remember, they're still together. Yeah, is he gonna go in and be like, he's probably gonna snitch? Yeah. I'm not protective over her, I'm not wanting her to get hurt. I'd have to almost so throw some money on my bus. He's gonna swoop in, he's gonna be the, the hero. We get on, we have fun, we enjoy each other, but I just can't imagine you'd be ready. Oh, she's breaking it off when he was about to like, we're gonna run to a, a situation where she's gonna like end up breaking off with Sam in like the fifth episode and then she's gonna like meet up with him at some random coffee shop and be like, I need to get him back. Like genuinely you may have a stronger connection with the other person, but I do have this deep care for you, and I want to protect you. Okay. Oh. Is he about to drop it? Is he? He's gonna snitch on Sam. <gasps> I know the strong connections you have with Sam. Okay. And Sam's a bit of a cockatoo. <laughs> he's not here for genuine reasons. <laughs> I snitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking rat. He, he put himself in a weird situation, though. Now she feels weird if she were to reject Sam and then go with him. You know, if, she, if this day goes really well, then that's it's done, unfortunately. Is Sam going to find out about this snitching? Well, yeah, because she's going to want to talk to him again. Yeah, uh, yeah. And he's going to find out. Oh, there's going to be a fight in the fucking break room. In the break room? It's the men's living quarters, Aaron. How many times has it popped up? My bad. God. All right. White team. Side eye Sam, that's what we start calling him. Good mate, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, good. Good, good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my dude, god. he's gonna be pissed yeah. when dude yeah. I'm perplexed by by it all. I'm <laughs> poor girl, bro. I know, I feel like what is she and supposed to by the feelings? Get a grip, Maria. <laughs> Where are they on the floor? There's like a billion couches there. Guys, we stole the couch. We actually pulled it off. <laughs> Our Mission Impossible stuff to steal a love of the blind couch weren't. When I say like traditional, I've never said I'll stop working. But I'm going to be honest, when I have babies, I'm going to be at home with them for the first year or two and not miss any of the important stuff. Yeah. That's completely valid. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't really want to miss that stuff either, but... 
I want to be a stay-at-home dad. <laughs> As our dates have gone on, we have deeper conversations. It's because we need to know the important stuff. I mean, it's important they're talking about that, yeah, right? I, I don't mean, think we've ever seen, I'm like, <laughs> what are the roles you want to, like, how do you want to play this? Do you want to go traditional or go fucking new wave? You know, the different genres of marriage. I want marriage to be like Aphex twins. Just vibes. <laughs> do you still have connections in here now? Yeah. Who, who? Yeah, who's the other girl he's talking to? I forget. Oh, it's, oh, her. it's her! It's just scary, isn't it? I like them together, though. I think they look really good together as well. Me and Bobby have spent ages getting to know each other. It's been like a week, right? Yeah, why'd you say ages? <laughs> How do we think this is gonna go? I don't know. It might be awkward, man. I'm gonna be real. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, the, okay, okay. And he's running! Oh, you are stunning. Oh! oh! No, no, she turned away. She, she turned, turned away twice. Away. I can't. It's insane. Insane. You are so cute. I wasn't Bloody expecting this. Stunner. Okay, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. That was. Oh, no chemistry. No not, chemistry. Not no in chemistry. Sync. Not in sync. They're, they're nervous. They're nervous. It's fine. Maybe. I'm still trying to get used to your face. <laughs> That's never, that's never a good thing when they say that. I'm trying to get used to your face. <sighs> that's like a common saying on the show. Like, this moment right now is by far the best moment of my life. I believe that everyone on this show has fucking trauma. Everyone's just on the show, they have their families dead. And then there's Sam. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's getting better. The first couple of seconds was a little... I'm the Beyonce! Beautiful, you want Beyonce, I'm about to get married. Whoa, she hit that. I'm a Beyonce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Husband. <laughs> Their kiss chemistry sucks, though. I've had someone propose to me, so I didn't even know how to react. Oh! Oh! oh. Love you. To the moon and back. Oh. Not far enough. You know that Mars is further, right? <laughs> What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> My girl's a supermodel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> don't know what. <laughs> oh my god. This dude's a chat of things. I Look know! It. it feels good. <laughs> it makes you tingle. <laughs> Not in your pants, but <laughs> in your heart. Whoa. Okay. We didn't we weren't thinking that. Since our first date, you've always been. One of the people that I'm thinking, this girl's mint. This girl's mint? Is it like this girl's a catch, essentially? Yeah. Um, would you say love is blind? What are you trying to say? It's pretty fucking obvious. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dumbass. <laughs> what the fuck? And I guess I always knew. You trying to say that I love you? I'm trying to say that I love you. Oh, I love you too, Freddy. Fazbear! Do you actually feel that way about me? Yeah, it's so strong. Uh, Wait till you see him. Uh, I just know that you're the one. <laughs> Bro's geeking. <laughs> Bro's actually geeking. I know she's the one. <laughs> I was destined to meet her. <laughs> this guy's so, like, I don't know. <laughs> Literally, he was like, you're the one. Oh my god, I can't call. Is she okay? What was that cut? Oh my god! What was that cut? Um, like there's a mixture of emotions that I'm feeling. Oh, she's like, why the hell did I go on the show? Because I have to be transparent with him. What's going on? Oh, she has a kid. What would you say, like, we've kind of connected on? It's just your vibe, it's yeah. just your... Oh, she, maybe she's just, uh, like, the marriage thing is freaking her out. I really do want to connect with you on an emotional level, but I haven't done that. Oh, it's over. What the fuck? I've always wanted a family. I've always wanted to, like, be a good mom. Because it's hard for me to naturally conceive. Oh, oh. Uh, the opposite of my theory. Yeah, she's just going through the freaking... Like, I think it's hitting her what this show's actually about. I'm surprised this hasn't happened sooner. Yeah. I want you to know that it doesn't change anything about the way I feel about you or how I feel about our future. It actually just made me think this person's amazing. All right, that was a solid response. Um, it was... Uh, Walk to the glass, give me a hug quickly, and then we sit down. You got her there. Are we really doing this? I already hug. Right, three, two, one. They actually can't see each other's silhouette there. Damn it! I'm kidding, it's actually, it makes it better for the re reveal. 
The pods have done their job. They found me my one. Oh, okay, he's locked in. All right, good for them. At this point, who is she? The mysterious woman act is working on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to find my soulmate. I can't read this guy. He's so like, I don't know. I have like zero opinion on this guy. <laughs> My thoughtful gesture is... Whoa, happy music. I think he's going to connect with her and break up with the other girl, Ron. You told me you have another connection. Mm. I know how attracted I am to you. Yeah. And like... <laughs> That's the first time he smiled. I know. <laughs> I think he's locked in. Look, at he's, he's curling his toes. I was dreaming, and so I could feel, like, parts of, like, your body. Yeah. Um, Like, your waist and your hips and... Whoa. <laughs> Bro's having wet dreams in the pods. <laughs> I'm smiling. Dude, I had the most insane fucking dream last night. You want me to pause it? Yeah, real quick, just a two second. For some reason, it, it, like, I was friends with uh, Bronny, LeBron's son. <laughs> yeah. And then he was like, dude, by the way, I'm gay and I need your help coming out to my dad. <laughs> and so I, I helped Bronny. Come out to LeBron and be like, I'm here for you, man. I got you. I'm here to support you. I don't know what the fuck. I, like, I don't know. And then LeBron's like, I love you, son. And gave him a hug. And then, like, daffed me up as well. And it was just like... And then you called me. You're like, yeah, 11 o'clock. Love is blind. I was like, fuck. I was hanging out with LeBron. Day one, Sam told me, like, I think you are it. Sam's been telling me the same thing. Really? <laughs> Whoa. There you go. One of the biggest life-changing moments for me. Hopefully it's a yes. <laughs> He's like a little golden retriever. What? <laughs> Am I wrong? Am I wrong? But I don't think like the thing that we could be something for real. The first time our eyes connect. The first time we touch. He's such a romantic, bro. Look at this dude. Yeah. My Jersey girl. <laughs> I can't wait to make memories with you. This might be the best proposal. Well, let's see how he says, will you marry me? Because so many guys say, marry me now, or they word it all You'll weird. marry me? Yeah. Will you marry me? Oh, see? Best proposal. Yeah. I'm down on one knee, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. Uh, I'm gonna go for it. Good for you. Yeah. The last time I saw up, Nicole. Well, he's gonna propose now? Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's full sending it. My heart's pounding. Because in terms of the future, Sam makes me feel very assured. How come she never got to talk with Sam before this, though? I don't know. That would have been so good for the show, producers, you dumb. Oh, they're doing a thing where they're both going in the pod and you're going to see where she walks in first. Oh. So I am going to propose to Nicole. No. No. Let her make her decision first, you doofus. Which door will she choose? She's gonna go with Sam, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nicole. Hi. How are you? Yeah, I can't even feel that bad for the Cliff Bar guy. He's been a bit awkward in that. The you played whole... it bad. You played it wrong. For me, this is a really big thing, okay? Because I've I've done this before. I know. I know. She's done this before. Like Love Is Blind. No, I think like been engaged maybe. <laughs> My God, give her a Xanax. <laughs> Do you mean Kleenex? I just like love. Oh yeah. <laughs> My hand is against the glass, Nicole. <laughs> I'm absorbing your energy. <laughs> yeah, she. <laughs> oh. Nicole, will you marry me? Yes, 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 yes. Damn, no, no heartfelt. Not even a talk with Benaya. <laughs> Not even a heartfelt speech from him, though. I can assure you I'll give you everything, okay? Yes, okay. I trust you, and honestly, I love you. I think I love you too. I, I can't believe it. I think I love you too. I think I love you too. Yeah, that's hurting her, bro. I mean, what, what the fuck? This dude's the worst speaker ever. I'm still trying to keep very grounded. Oh, my God. Oh, she's letting it slide? Okay. He said all the right things. I'm just gonna have to trust that. I think I love you is not our. <laughs> <laughs> I'm engaged. God. Uh. Notice how everyone's like not excited for him. They all think Sam's annoying as shit. Everything I said yesterday, it was out of love. Honestly, 
Love is Blind does provide a crazy situation where you are possibly getting proposed to twice in one day. How the fuck would that ever happen? <laughs> <laughs> but being really honest with myself. I've already wed myself to another. <laughs> Sam, like, actually has, like, my heart, you know? Oh. That's such a, like, poetic <laughs> way to break up. <laughs> Sam has my heart. Yeah, and your hand in marriage right now. She doesn't need to tell him that, I guess. Well, he's gonna find out when he goes back in the men's quarters. Yeah. I said it right this time. Well, you forgot the living part, but... <laughs> I hope it works out. Just lost a Cliff Bar ambassador. I mean, he took that a lot better than Sam did when he yeah. got caught with. And he's not gonna throw a fit in the men's living quarters. Happy now. We've got engaged. Yeah! 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 To who? To who? <laughs> I got engaged. To who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Benny. <laughs> Oh, mate. Yeah, they all like him. Got on one knee, and we both sheet up the glass. That's like, I said my hand's about halfway. Whoa! Whoa! whoa. You're bringing that down right now? He's, he's just not the right person for her. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, they're gonna break up, and she's gonna go with him on some, like, rock climbing adventure and be like, I actually love you. No one ever found out that he snitched. He got away with snitching. Whoa! What a transition. America, step your game up. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, she's crying already. Lock in. Keep... Oh, he's crying too. Lock in, guys. Come on. We don't have time to cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is nice. This is nice. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. Bro, this is a romantic. Bro, this is like a fucking rom com. Or just a. Just... Oh, my God. A rom. Oh my god! Catherine, say something. I'm here now. I'm not going anywhere. I'm bored right now. Yeah. I don't know why I'm bored. She, Cause she's I, not giving anything back. I don't know. She's not making good eye contact either. No. Back towards him. Not so oh, Love you. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Take me to your bed. <laughs> what in the world? I think Tom can offer like a love that I don't feel like I've ever known before. Oh, it's gonna set up as a breakup, but then he's really gonna be like, I'm choosing you, maybe? Or it might just be an actual breakup because the other girl. Like, everything about you is like perfect and like. But, but, but. I'm thinking about sort of. Um. Go on. Lens flare oh, does not I, equal uh, proposal. I lied, I lied. Wow. That was Love is Blind once again. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you want to support us on Patreon, link is in description. See you in a few days.